Hello. We are glad here to have with us Dr. Samandam, who is an oncologist from Rhode Island. He has been in Rhode Island for over 40 years and has served that community very dedicatedly. Now, he has taken on a very ambitious project, that is, to establish a Tamil chair at Harvard University. He is the co-founder of the Harvard Tamil Chair Project. Welcome to Lokwani, Dr. Samanda. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's such a pleasure to have you here. Um, I would like to let you know and tell the viewer mm. about what this Tamil project is all about. Well, our goal is to share the joy that we derived with the language that we call our mother tongue. See, in a way, uh, there are few things you have no chance of choice. Number one, in what shape or form you are going to, born, to be born has no choice. It was predetermined or preordained. The next one to whom you are going to be born is also not your choice. To which family to whom you are going to be born. The third to what tongue you are going to have, you have no choice. So the fourth one uh, to what land you are going to be born, you have no choice. So with those three, four kind of situations, we, we felt we blessed to have Tamil as our mother tongue because it's an extraordinarily rich language uh, with uh, the broadest possible vision and thinking, uh, uh, which has uh, phenomenally uh, revolutionary thinking, uh, which is uh, so amazing to see even at 2017. Mm -hmm. So it is phenomenal. Uh, to that end, we felt that uh, the joy we derived, the gift that we benefited from, must be shared with the world. That's the whole idea that we moved on to this project. Actually, uh, if you want to carry on a little bit further, the idea came to my best friend, Dr. Jai Raman, mm -hmm. who is a cardiologist at uh, Altoona, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Uh, he had uh, a longing for doing something for his mother tongue, Tamil. To that end, he inquired and found out that Harvard has uh, all other classic languages are being taught at Harvard. And they are looking into uh, having Tamil also as an option. To that end, he heard that. Then he made the, made the initial move to have communication with Harvard. Uh, so that's how the whole thing was conceived and started. So he came to see me, then I joined him, then we moved on. That's fantastic. So the idea here is to actually collect money to create an endowment mm -hmm. so that we can establish a professorship yes. at Harvard University. Yeah, right. Now, what do you hope that a professorship at Harvard University for Tamil will do for Tamil, what is the I, I idea? think uh, the, the, the hope and the prayer is, number one, uh, they will uh, expose and evolve and do res pure research in Tamil literature, in all fronts, social front, scientific front, um, every front that there is possible, they will look at the 2,500 years of documented, continual, living experience of uh, that language. Uh, so based on that, um, not only they do research and they do comparative research and they publish and also teach and produce uh, scholars with a different set of ideas and different set of mindset in that approach. To that end, that's where we felt Harvard would be the best place to start this uh, affair. Once, uh, you know, actually ha if if and when we succeed, then we will move on to other premier uh -huh. institutions like University of Chicago, uh -huh. uh, University of Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. uh, other uh, outstanding universities. Actually, there was already a Tamil chair established at University of Berkeley in California. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that was the first one in this continent. Uh, so now we felt that uh, uh, Harvard is a premier institution, uh, it's a world-class institution, world-known institution. So having Tamil at Harvard, it will fulfill the dream of one of our favorite 
போயட் மகாகவி பாரதியார் அந்த ட்ரீம் இஸ் தேமதுர தமிழோசை உலகலாம் பர வைசல் வேண்டும் could you translate that for our viewers uh, uh, every tamilans duty is to spread the tamil the, the, the sweetness of tamil to all over the world that's what his uh, dream and wish to, to that end uh, he was a great poet we love him dearly so we wanted to take his dream yeah. to a reality uh, i think the harvard will be uh, the finest institution that's how we approach them luckily they agreed to that uh, mm-hmm. uh, your our uh, desire that's fantastic so now if you look at tamil as a language <coughs> okay it dates i think it's probably arguably one of the oldest languages right. that is known to mankind right and um, it has had a literature that ranges really from over 2000 years so if we look at that literature um how has it transformed from the beginning of time to to 2017 in your opinion i, I think uh, it uh, it evo- every language evolves mm-hmm. because the people evolve the pe- the language evolves uh, so it uh, in goes hand in hand so in that way uh, when uh, you know sanskrit was the sister language that was available mm-hmm. so they related to one another and they uh, so sanskrit benefit from tamil tamil benefit from sanskrit mm-hmm. it's all mutual coexistence and co development then but i will ask you this why do you think tamil has actually survived as a living language as opposed to many of the other classical languages that are out there i, I think i think that the reason being uh, uh, it is a very in a locked in uh, situation in a small sector uh-huh. so that language continue to be uh, perpetually used uh, you know and even though it withstood so many different innovations so many different influences uh, and its which student always evolved evolved uh, to a better uh, you know sta- state uh, so it is a beautiful thing uh, so if you look at literature what are your favorite old literature and what would you say is more of your favorite current literature uh, see uh, unfortunately i became a doctor medical doctor <laughs> <laughs> so i that did, is fortunate for the world sir <laughs> well, i don't know but uh, anyway uh, to that end uh, so i have to uh, move away from my uh, my desire is to uh, enjoy literature uh, both uh, english as well as tamil because those are the two languages i know i felt badly that i really then uh, educated myself in sanskrit uh, i think that would have been a complete uh, uh, you know fulfill my fulfillment mind of my mother's dream and my father's dream <laughs> But, but with tamil itself what do you think are your favorite old literature and the i i think uh, see tolhapiyam uh, is supposed to be the oldest literature mm-hmm. you know uh, i think to that end i am not that sophisticated oh, okay. with them so my uh, my uh, joy was selapadi haram mm-hmm. uh, and then the greatest of the greatest is tirukkural uh, that is uh, uh, is one of the uh, tremendous gift uh, that made me feel that i am indebted to this language because it shaped my thinking it shaped my functioning as a doctor uh, and that actually uh, helped my success uh, in my career that's fantastic so now if you look at um, many people including myself we have left tamil nadu we you know we didn't live there but have a strong connection to tamil nadu and for many of the children in this land in america again they have left tamil nadu but they have a strong passion for it what advice would you give them to reconnect with tamil and to start learning to have that same joy that you have for the language i think it i honestly humbly believe it is the mother's duty is the mother i think women is the one who protects the values and uh, traditions and the language everything women are the protectors so every uh, i think that's the way is going to the language is going to survive uh, my hope our hope is uh yes uh, both dr jayan and my hope our hope is uh by developing this uh, uh, chair at harvard uh we uh, expose uh, the minds of children uh, you know people were surprised tamil at harvard tamil at harvard that's what they say so to that end once you uh, uh, kindle that uh, you know the fancy and uh, uh, and the desire to learn i think they will uh, i think that's what it is i think uh, uh, i think i think uh, the uh, for example uh, i just this i have to mention uh, yesterday 
uh, I was meeting with uh, one of the doctors uh, who is Jewish. Uh, he asked me about uh, my involvement with the Tamil chair. I told him about Tamil and everything. He said, can I ask you a question? What is it? My wife want, uh, desires that our children has to learn Hebrew. Uh, I said, no, there's no reason to. Uh, they don't need to. We are in America. We don't need Hebrew. Uh, that, that's what he said. I said, you are wrong. You should listen to your wife. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I think it is essential. It's essential uh, to uh, carry on. Uh, you know, we have a rich tradition. We have a great uh, gift uh, in that language. Uh, we need to uh, pass it on. Sure. That, that's what is important. Sure. Uh, so where are you in this project and how can the community at, uh, in Boston and in New England help you? I, I think there are three ways they can help. Mm -hmm. Number one, uh, they, uh, by giving the money, the most important ingredient at this point. And how much money do you need? How much money does it take to have this? And how much have you raised and what are you looking to do? I think uh, the, the Harvard requires $6 million to end our chair for perpetuity. So in that, we have about uh, $2 million to date we have collected. Uh, so, Dr. Janayaram put uh, his first half a million, then I put half a million, so that yeah, million, million. million seed money, and then we collected another million, but we need four millions. So, that's number one. Number two, what I believe on the Boston, New England area, Boston area, New England area, Tamils has to do is to support the chair. Uh, no matter how you uh, devise this, Unless until there's a strong community support, uh, that language will not, the department will not survive and succeed. So there should be a complete back and forth support from the community to the university, university to the community, so that uh, the intellect, uh, seeking the knowledge, seeking the intellect uh, will be a fruitful outcome. Uh, I believe uh, it is important to have uh, a, a group of uh, people who are, you know, understanding, thriving, supporting and feeding the, you know, professorship so that it will thrive and it will flourish. That's fantastic. And the third thing, so you said we need to support it, we need to give money. Anything else, sir? Uh, anything else is we need to see, uh, learn from it and then uh, figure out new ways of uh, making it better. And as I said, you know, see, for example, when we started, we thought only Harvard will be the thing. Then within a uh, couple of three months, then we said, why we should start with Harvard? Why don't we make it a Tamil chair incorporated? So that, uh, you know, God willing, uh, if you believe in God. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> I God, do, you know, sir. I certainly do. Uh, God willing, if we succeed in that, then we will move on to uh, University of Toronto. Uh, you know, that's an interesting story. Apparently, one gentleman gave $2 million on his own when to uh, University of Toronto to develop a Tamil chair in Toronto. So that part taken care of already. So we are, our hope is uh, A.K. Ramanujam was one of the greatest Tamil scholars. Uh, he contributed so much to uh, uh, worldwide spread of Tamil uh, in addition to all the Western people. He is a Tamil uh, from Mysore uh, who uh, did his utmost best in University of Chicago. Mm -hmm. So we believe uh, we should honor that man by creating a chair in that uh, institution. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. So a lot of very ambitious project oh, here. I, <laughs> that's the way it should know, be. Yeah, I yeah, can right, imagine. Right. And so if people want to learn more, I see that there is this wonderful website. It's called uh, harvardtamilchair.com and it is right here. Um, you can see that and I think there's plenty of information in there. And I also see this beautiful book which seems to be an introduction to Tamil. Yeah, right. Right, by David Shulman. Again, might be a good way to get some connection, some understanding yeah. of Tamil. Yeah. So, thank you so much Dr. Samudam for your time today. And we wish you the very best of luck and uh, soon we really hope that there will be a Tamil chair in almost every university. Well, around the country and perhaps internationally. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy.